The overall goal of this experiment is to observe the effect of relative humidity on structure and tensile properties of regenerated silk fibroin fibers using a microfluidic dry spinning method. This method can help answer key questions in the biomimic spinning, uh, such as uh, serum forces and the uh, dry spinning process. The main advantage of this technique is that the microfluidic channel is designed to mimic the spinning duct of a silkworm. This method can provide insight into the uh, dry spinning process of silk fibrin. It can also be uh, used to the wet spinning process of recombinant spider silk. Generally, new individuals new to this method will struggle because it needs two weeks to prepare the spinning loop and also to ensure it has a good spinning ability. Visual demonstration of this method is very critical because if you are lack of experience, the spinning dope is very difficult to make and the spinning time is very essential for you to make. Start by degumming the Bombix mori cocoons in an aqueous solution containing 0.5% sodium carbonate. Incubate the submerged cocoons at 100 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Then, replace the sodium carbonate solution and repeat the incubation a second time. When finished, wash the silk with deionized water to remove the sericin. Dry the degummed cocoon silks in air and then submerge them in 9.0 molar lithium bromide at a weight-to-weight -weight ratio of 1 to 10. Incubate the silks at 40 degrees Celsius.